Welcome everyone, I'm in the greater Los Angeles area today in Westwood and right here amongst all of these buildings is a very minute, secretive cemetery that a lot of people do not realize exists. It's right back down that alley. You could call it the Cemetery of the Stars. Heck, even the Hidden Cemetery of the Stars. You wanna check it out? Join me. Shall you? One of the things I love about this place is it's virtually unknown. Unless you know it is here, you would never realize as you're driving through the greater Los Angeles area that amongst the skyscrapers and buildings that this wonderful place exists. And even more amazing than that are some of the celebrities, the countless amount of celebrities and the backstories behind their deaths and their graves that exist right here. One of my favorites, of course, Don Knotts. The story on this Don Knotts headstone was he had a normal headstone similar to the other ones you see around him. But later on, as time went on, they replaced it with this really fantastic one with all the different characters that Don Knotts played throughout his career. This is Heather O'Rourke's grave. She was the little girl in Poltergeist 1 and 2 and she died at a very young age. She was born in 1975 and passed away in 1988. Here is the final resting place of Truman Capote. And you might find it unusual that the name Joanne Carson is below his emblem. And the reason Joanne Carson is buried here is because she was best friends with Truman Capote. Even though she was married to Johnny Carson, she is buried next to her friend. Here's Richard Dawson, of course, famous for Family Feud, but I know him from The Running Man. He was also in Hogan's Heroes. Hogan, Bob Crane's right over there. Over this way? Over this way, let's see if we can find Bob. So this is Bob Crane and his wife who played Elga on the, uh, on the show Hogan's Heroes. Bob, uh, unfortunately, uh, was murdered. And uh, they, I don't know if they ever solved the crime. In case you're wondering who that voice is, that is the voice of the one and only Mr. X, who was just off camera. Say something. Hello. And he knows a lot about Hollywood, Beverly Hills, the whole greater Los Angeles history, and a lot of like movie star and TV stuff. So he's tagging along. He doesn't want to be on camera. Never See, on camera. Never, never on, on camera. camera. Never, never. But you're going to hear his voice, and he will be peppering in some knowledge and some facts and figures about this fantastic place as the video progresses. So there's Burt Lancaster. Sorry, trying to clean off Mr. Gil Lancaster. And I'm guessing by how many headstones there are that he was cremated and his ashes and probably his urn is there in the ground. Now I know Burt Lancaster was famous back in the day, but I remember Burt Lancaster from a baseball movie called Field of Dreams. And he gave this great quote about how if he had one wish, he would slide into second, wrap his hands around the bag, and that was his one wish. And it always hits me right here. Someone has left roses for Dean Martin. Just think, after all this time he passed away in 1995, people are still coming out and paying their respects to Dean Martin. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Fair Fawcett pass away the same day as Michael Jackson? I believe so, you're right, yeah, that's right, you're right. And so I think that, you know, her passing away, the fame of a famous person passing away was overshadowed by Michael's death. I did ask you that. Did you have her poster in your room when you were a kid? I never had her poster. Oh, I wasn't I allowed to have her poster. Oh, I had her poster. I may or may not have it hanging now next to my bed. It's a very beautiful grave, nice flowers, nice headstone. It's finally good to see that Rodney is getting some respect. 
and this is the inside of the chapel. So pretty much everyone who is buried or has had a service here, at least a good portion of them, their coffin has been right there. And all those mourning, the friends and family, sitting right here. It's pretty wild to think that. Right here in this section, you'll notice there are a lot of gravestones that have nothing written on them. The only one that does is over here to the right, Sage Stallone, who is Sylvester Stallone's son. And you might remember him best from Rocky V. He played the actual son of Stallone in the movie. He passed away in 2012. And I do not know for certain, but I'm wondering if this entire plot is dedicated to the entire Stallone family since Sage is the only one that has passed away. You will notice this plant but no headstone. Where this plant is is the unmarked grave of Roy Orbison. Right here. They never put a headstone. No one even knows he's here. The only thing to document it is this plant. There's yet another unmarked grave out here. Right here between these two headstones is the unmarked grave of Frank Zappa. Right here. This is Natalie Wood's grave. Of course, Natalie Wood died a, from a drowning accident, a very controversial drowning accident. And she was in a lot of movies, but the most famous being Rebel Without a Cause with James Dean. And there's her headstone. Betty Page, the queen of the pinups. Probably the most famous pinup artist of all time. Miss Betty Page right there. Dorothy Stratton, Playboy Playmate, who was murdered in 1980. And the house that she was murdered in was later used as a film about her life and they filmed it in the home that she was murdered in. It's a true story. Of course, the most famous grave out here is Marilyn Monroe's grave and there was an employee just cleaning off all the lipstick marks that women and men come out here and kiss Marilyn's crib. And you can see it's been cleaned so many times that it is stained with lipstick as it's been smeared. Because look at the difference between this and this. And there's a lot of urban legends and some factual, some untrue things about the Marilyn grave. Richard Poncher supposedly was buried upside down, face down, that way he could be on top of Maryland forever. And another rumor is that this will belong to the one and only Hugh Hefner. Now, I don't know if these are factual or untrue, but these are the stories. Thanks for watching everyone. I didn't show all the graves here, but I showed some of the more famous and unusual storied ones. And if you're ever in the Hollywood area, keep an eye out for this very amazing cemetery and stop by. See you guys.